Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. So this week I have a lookbook for you and I've put together seven different outfits based on the seven eras of Taylor Swift because I love her new album and why not? <laughs> anyway, as you can probably tell, I invited Kristen to film this lookbook with me because who doesn't like dressing up like Taylor Swift with their best friend and listening to all of her albums? I mean, come on, best weekend ever. <laughs> so yeah, we had an awesome time filming this video and I really hope you like it. But really quickly before we get into the whole outfit thing, I just wanted to say that if you like this video and want to see more from me, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be super amazing and I'd be really grateful. And if you're feeling extra nice, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what your favorite era of Taylor Swift is. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So here's the first look and it's based on Taylor Swift's Taylor Swift era. And this is definitely more of an early fall look unless you pair it with something like a denim jacket. I have this really pretty lacy bralette from Aerie paired with this floral flowy dress from American Eagle. And I think they do a really great job of capturing Taylor's look at that time. And of course I have an armful of assorted bracelets. I'm not entirely sure where I got these, but any combination of like leather and beaded bracelets will do the trick. And to finish off the look, I have this really cute pair of embroidered western inspired boots from Rocket Dog. Because we all know Taylor was totally about cowboy boots at this time. Up next, we have Taylor Swift from her Fearless era, and this is definitely more of a going out or date night sort of outfit. So I picked out this really pretty beaded sparkly dress that Kristen found in a thrift store, because during this era, Taylor was all about glitter and sparkles and sequins. And if you're worried about getting a little chilly in an outfit like this, feel free to pair it with a leather jacket. I think it'd be super cute. And because Taylor was always wearing a pair of black knee boots with outfits like this, we did the same. I really like how this pair has some silver accents that pair with the dress. Next, we have Taylor Swift from one of my favorite eras, her Speak Now era. And I based this look on a lot of candid photographs I saw of her. She wore a lot of floral dresses and vintage inspired shoes. So I'm pretty sure this is the time where Taylor was really into floral, boho sort of hair pieces. So I gave Kristen this really cute floral pink hair clip I picked up from Forever 21. And then I had her pair this basic blush cardigan from Ann Taylor with this really cute black floral dress. And if you feel that these colors are a little too bright for you for the fall, maybe find a darker floral print dress and pair it with like a wine colored cardigan. Dark floor prints are really in the season. And for shoes, Kristen's just wearing these really cute nude colored vintage inspired shoes she found in a thrift store. So here's the look I created for Taylor's Red Era, and I think just like the first outfit, this one's more for the early fall. But if you're trying to wear it later in the season, maybe pair it with some dot tights or a cute cardigan. On the top, I have this necktie blouse I picked up from H&M, and I just paired this with some pleated wool shorts I have from Free People and this skinny belt I got in Target. I think this look is really reminiscent of one of the outfits she wore for the album photo shoot. And then for shoes, I have this really cute pair of black suede angle boots. Up next, we have Taylor Swift's 1989 era. And I think this look adds a really fun spin on a pretty basic outfit. So on the top, Kristen's wearing this really cool holographic jacket from Forever 21. And underneath, she just has this basic crop top from Abercrombie & Fitch. As a side note, if you happen to own a sequin jacket, I think that'd be a great choice as well. I mean, Taylor actually wore one of those on her tour. On the bottom, Kristen's wearing these high-waisted blue wash pair of jeans from American Eagle, but you could totally wear a high-waisted circle skirt with this as well and be super cute. And then for shoes, which is probably my favorite part of this entire look, Kristen has these sparkly pair of Vans, which I absolutely love. They're awesome. Now it's time for Taylor Swift's Reputation Era look, which was probably the hardest one for me to create because it's sort of the opposite of my style. On the top, I have Kristen in this camo button-down with floral embroidery and black lace bralette. Although I've only seen Taylor in standard green camo, I think this is something she totally would have worn. And then on the bottom, Kristen's wearing these high-waisted faux leather pants that I think are perfect for this reputation look. And then to tie everything together, Kristen's wearing these black combat boots, but I also think over-the-knee boots would be really great with this look. So this last look is the Lover Era look, and it's my absolute favorite. I just love how romantic and dreamy and floral and pastel this era is. It's great. It's like what I've been waiting for. <laughs> so I've noticed that Taylor's been playing with a lot of textures recently. So on the top, I have this floral applique blouse from River Island. And since everything's pastel now, I have these high-waisted tailored powder blue shorts. And then to finish off the look, I have these really feminine nude block heels from Vince Camuto. And yeah, those are all the looks I had to show you. I hope you guys liked the video. Kristen and I had a really fun time filming this. And feel free to leave me a comment down below letting me know your favorite era of Taylor Swift. Mine is either Speak Now or Lover. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!